The Azure Blob Storage has a cool feature that allows for protected access to a blob living in a private container. You can get the source code of my best .NET 8 NuGet packages for free after signing up to Kisco.com. You should then receive an email with the download link to the source code within the next five minutes. However, that download link used to grant public access to those NuGet packages. So if you were to share that link to other people, they could get the source code without signing up. So bypassing the sign up form. That wasn't ideal, but also not a big deal since it's a free resource. Now that I'm also offering uh, paid resources, like the .NET brand website version one, this can no longer be public. So I had to change the access level to private of that container, but that now means that no one can access the source. So if we check it, if we were to figure out the path to the blob, then it's gonna say resource not found. What I can do is generate a token that is gonna grant limited time access to that blob. By clicking on the blob, generate SAS as shared access signature. Uh, you can select a key, which type of signing method. We're gonna stick with account key, key for now, which you can find in the access keys. And then you can specify a, an expiration time. So how long it's gonna be valid. Then you can generate the token. And usually the token itself is just a query string. So with all kinds of parameters. And then the full URL should provide you access with, should allow you to download it. These access keys can be found in here under security and networking access keys. So that now means even if you were to find the path to this resource, this paid resource, you wouldn't be able to access it uh, without that SAS token. And if I were to order this lead magnet by entering my email address, I should get an email. Your order was processed with, if we inspect the link, we'll see that that SAS token is attached. So we should be able to download that. Of course, we don't want to be generating that new token every six hours, for example, every time it it expires we don't want to be doing that manually so you can do this in code with the following the azure you're using the azure blobs nuget package and i added it to my own blob storage nuget package augustvn.azure.blobstorage and it's quite a simple code accepting container name blob name expires on so Default is uh, 24 hours in the, in the future. I think I'll limit it to three, four, or six hours, something like that. Uh, the blob name, the container name, and you set the permissions. So read. So you're allowing anonymous access to read, so to download the file for that limited time. And then you're generating the actual tokens so that's gonna generate that query string containing the tokens okay so that was it for this video a very useful feature of the azure blob storage so you can either get these uh, projects on my kisco.com slash products website or on the patreon slash kiss stupid Make sure to like and subscribe to not miss next episodes in which I'll likely add some more features to the brand website before I release a version 2. See you in the next one.